Hello, this is Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com, and this is a shaky cam interior review of the 2014 Mazda 3. Uh, this is the hatchback, the five door version, and it is the Grand Touring. Uh, it's actually the I Grand Touring, which means it has the IE loop in the engine. Um, I'll explain that a little bit more, uh, but this is the uh, top fit package for this car. Um, and it just won Ward's 10 Best Interiors, and there's very good reason for that. Uh, very well done car. So as usual, we'll start at the left. Uh, window controls here, uh, mirror here, uh, door locks and such. Uh, over here you see um, you can... Uh, th they have sort of a semi-racing package. So you can lower the tire pressure, and then you can turn off the pressure thing, uh, the pressure alert. Uh, and then... The rest of it should be uh, uh, pretty self-explanatory, uh, lane departure and so forth. So, um, hardly ever touch these buttons, uh, but they are there. Um, I did use, I did turn the uh, traction control on and off uh, when I did freeway on-ramp tests uh, for speed in this car, and it didn't really make much of a difference. Uh, just, uh, you know, FYI for those of you who care about that sort of thing. On the steering wheel, we have the usual controls, uh, phone and radio, and over here we have, um, this has um, uh, active cruise control, so it, uh, mono it's radar in front of you, they call it Mazda radar cruise, uh, so it will slow down and speed up uh, automatically according to what's in front of you on the highway, uh, very, very nice, I love that feature. Um, and uh, the rest of it's cruise controls and so forth, and then the instrument cluster. Uh, it's a very simple, simple cluster, very, very nicely done, and I'll show you why it is the way it is. Uh, you see here, this is the gearing uh, trip and stuff, uh, tachometer. That's the speed right there, but I'll show you where it shows up another place. Uh, here's your uh, trip and uh, miles per gallon. Um, that's the average I've been getting, uh, which is pretty good considering how I've been driving. I've, I've been driving kind of like an a-hole and, and, uh, I'm still getting great mileage out of this car, uh, and fuel, of course. Now looking just up, it's hard to get on camera because of the, because of the car, because of the way it works. But, uh, this little thing pops up and down when you're driving and what it is, is that is your speed. And then it also just pops up alerts when you do things like, uh, when you turn off the cruise control, it'll tell you the cruise control is off and so forth. Over here, this is a, an addition to the package. Um, this is the uh, large, the screen for, uh, well, infotainment screen. Uh, it is not a touch screen, and I'll show you how you control that screen uh, in a second. Uh, vents and climate controls. Um, this is a seat heating here. Uh, and then climate controls, very straightforward, easy to use. Uh, these are, uh, a lot, some people might think of these as kind of old school now because uh, this sort of control has gone out uh, and being replaced by lots of uh, um, menus and whatever. But I love this because it's so much easier to use. Here's the uh, shifter uh, sport mode button right there. Now this is what controls that screen up there. Uh, you basically move it around, back and forth, up and down, push it down like a mouse button. Uh, you can quickly access things like nav, music, uh, your back button here, and uh, and you can uh, you can star music. This is you know it's one of those systems where if you're if you like the song that you're listening to or the artist or whatever, you can hit the star button real quick. And this is the volume control. It's how you turn it on and off. Uh, takes a second to get used to that, but. There you go. Um, once you're used to it, this is really easy, and it's a lot easier to use while you're driving than reaching up to try to hit a uh, hit a hit things on the screen, you know, because you might bounce and hit the wrong thing, that kind of thing. This uh, greatly simplifies things. I really, really like it. Now, looking at the interior, you see it's it's a uh, black faux leather uh, across here, um, black uh, uh, plastic here, glove box, straightforward. Um, and then I want you to look at this seating. This is beautiful, beautiful um, uh, leather treatment. Uh, it's ventilated leather here. Uh, you see, it's uh, it's in two tones with that black, and the and it matches what's on the door. And the back seats are the same. Um, very good looking and exceedingly comfortable interior here. They did a very very good job. So. Uh, 
that's it. This is the 2014 Mazda 3. This is the iGrand Touring Package. So for AaronOnAutos.com, uh, this has been Aaron. Talk to you soon.